Hey everybody, this is Mr. Mike. I'm going to go over how to do the acid uh, base titration um, that's in your uh, your packet. Um, and uh, you can also find this site here by uh, searching animation or titration animation. That should get you this site as one of the first couple of links. We're going to select strong acid and strong base. We're going to put acid in our burette. This is your burette. Um, you can put base um, in your burette, but bases tend to eat glass, so we don't like to do that. We're going to select the acid and the base, and let's click on um, maybe HNO3 nitric acid and some potassium hydroxide. We're going to select our indicator, which is we're going to have bromothymol blue. So the acid is in, in your burette, and the base is down here. And bromothymol blue, in the presence of a base, will will be blue in color. We're going to use our slider to add a little bit of uh, acid, and when you let go, you'll see that it actually dumps it in there. And so our solution remained blue, so it's still basic, so we're going to add a little bit more. And we're going to do that until, until we want to get our ideal color is to add maybe one or two drops and get this to be green. If we go to yellow, then we went too far. So I'm going to add a little bit more, and so I added a milliliter more. I'm going to go up to 19, and um, I'm going to keep going. Add another milliliter. That's not quite enough. So I went to yellow. So that was actually a little bit too much. I want to get to a nice green color. So there's no way to undo this. So you're going to have to reset everything. And remember, strong acid, and our acid is going to be nitric acid and KOH for our base, potassium hydroxide. I'm just going to really quickly redo things. And we're going to have the same conditions. And we remembered that um, we were really close when we added about 19, I think. So we add that in there, and then from now that we can go dropwise. And, and you, you can't hold this down, you just have to click it. And we're just going to keep doing this, and it's a little bit of a slow process, but the beauty of a burette is that it adds a very precise amount of liquid, and we can very accurately determine how much volume was used, and then ultimately. Uh, you could actually figure this, uh, figure out the concentration of our unknown or our base. So if we didn't know the molarity, which it's telling us, if we didn't know the molarity, we could actually calculate that. So you can keep adding, and you're looking for that nice color change. You'll notice that on the bottom here they have a white background, and that's on purpose. So we want to have some white paper underneath because it helps us see the color change on our dark lab bench. In your lab, you're probably not going to have a, an automatic mixer, so you'll actually have to be swirling this by hand. Um, also, what you'll notice when you're doing the lab is that you'll see that the liquid, uh, as the acid hits the base, it'll turn uh, maybe green for a second and then sort of disappear into blue. The longer that green kind of persists, actually tells you that you're closer to the end point. But uh, on the computer, you're not going to have that advantage. Oh, there we go. So we're at 20.4 milliliters of our acid that we used. And uh, these numbers would be really important. So uh, actually, the way this animation is doing it, we know the molarity, uh, which is our concentration, and how much we, a base we started with. We know how much acid that we use, so we can calculate the concentration of our acid. So our formula is M1V1 equals M2V2. So here's your M1 and V1, and then this is V2, and we can solve for M2. So basically we're going to take these two values at the bottom, 0 0.2096 times 25, and then divide it by 20.4, and we should get our concentration and we can check it once we do that. Alright, thanks for watching, hope this helps.